Hello, everyone. This is Ryohei Onishi, and this is Understanding the SDGs, an interpreter's take. And this time, we are having the fifth video. This is about sustainability and education. Do you know education? Education is to teach something to other people. Okay, so today I will talk about how important education is for people about SDGs. So let's uh, start with this table of contents. I'm sorry. So let's start with this. What does SDG 4 say? There are 17 goals in SDGs. And SDG number four is about education. And also, what does Incheon Declaration say? There was a meeting conference by the United Nations in 2015 in the Korea, in Korea. So let me talk about that. Next, who should we educate? Who should we educate? That's an interesting question. Next, I will talk about my job with Green Innovator Academy. And lastly, I have a message, okay? So let's start with the SDGs. Um, SDG number four says, ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Do you know what this means? This means that we need good quality education, edu high quality education that's inclusive. Inclusive means everybody is covered. We include everyone. No one is left behind. So I include you, 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 everyone in the education. Equitable means it's equal, equal. Um, so it's fair education. Also, SDG 4 promotes lifelong learning opportunities for all. Lifelong learning. What is lifelong learning? Um, when we think about education, you think about going to school, studying, take tests, you take an entrance exam, you pass the exam, you go to college, university, you study, you graduate from university, right? But that is not only about the lifelong education. Even after you graduate from university, you can always have learning opportunities. For example, if you are 40 years old, if you are 50 years old, if you are 60, 70, 80 years old, you have learning opportunities. So that's why this is a learning opportunity for all, for everyone, okay? For everyone means it's inclusive. It's you, 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 it's everyone, okay? So SDG 4 says good quality for everyone in this world, okay? So in 2015, there was a United Nations conference in Incheon, uh, South Korea. Do you know South Korea? It's next to Japan. This is Japan and this is South Korea, okay? And you see Incheon here. Um, so this is Seoul, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, but uh, Incheon is in South Korea and they made a declaration, um, Incheon declaration. So what is declaration? Uh, declaration is to say something uh, with everyone. So in that conference, everyone agreed and said that our mission, sorry, uh, we not we mission, it's our mission 
is to transform lives through education. Everyone said that our mission is to transform lives. Transform means to change really, really uh, greatly through education. So this is uh, one logo from a website. And in the middle, in the center is the SDG4, quality education. So there are 17 goals here, but for us to, to achieve SDGs, we need to learn, we need to study, we need to think, and we need to take actions. And learning is about education. So all the 17 goals start with education. All the 17 goals start with education. So that's why SDG4 is at the core center of the, uh, of the 17 goals. Now you understand how important education is to achieve all the other SDGs, okay? So we say educate, 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 but who should we educate? This is a difficult problem, difficult question, but I think that we should educate future generations, future generations, young people, younger people, because people live based on their experience. People live their lives based on their experience. For example, um, in Japan, some old people say, because they grew up in the 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, they experienced Japan's growth in economy. Japan's economy was growing, growing, growing at that time. So old people, some, uh, some of the old people say, hey, when I was young, cars were a status symbol. A, a status symbol means if you have, have a car, you, you, you are good. It's good to have cars, many, many cars. But now young people do not feel that way. Young people do not care about having a lot of cars. I mean, basically, not everyone, but many young people do not want to have too many cars because it's not good for the environment. They know that the planet Earth is in danger. It's dangerous because if you have a car, CO, there will be more CO2. Uh, it's bad for global warming. So it's not good to always use cars. That's young people's mindset thinking. So I think it's difficult to change older generations, but it's much easier to educate young people because they their experience is different from older people. And you also remember this conversation between a son and a father. Son says, hey, dad, I want that toy all the time. I need it, I need it, I need it, I want it. And the dad says, okay, I can buy. Okay, son, right? So it's always starting from the son, from the daughter, from the children. And children say they want it and parents buy it, right? So that's one reason that I believe that we need to educate future generations first because future generations will change older generations. But Older generations are not easy to change. Um, so I think that it's better to educate younger generation. 
And that's why I am here and I make this video to educate and uh, develop young people. And lastly, I want to talk about my interpretation job with Green Innovator Academy. They are a great uh, organization and they, um, they have just finished this uh, program called Green Innovator Academy. They educate, uh, train, and develop younger people so that they can be an innovator to achieve the SDGs and make this world a better place. They say, we cannot see the future, but we can make it. We can make the future. We cannot see the future, but we can make it, right? Uh, it's the same. We can make younger generations um, because the younger generation's experience is different from older generation. I worked with Green Innovator Academy last year from August to December. There were many guests who spoke about making a change, uh, about making innovations. So I learned a lot of things through Innovator, a Green Innovator Academy. So I want to say thank you very much, Green Innovator Academy. Um, okay, so that's education. I also get education from Green Innovator Academy. So the message, is this, why am I, uh, Ryohei, why am I doing this sustainability SDGs uh, videos? Why do I make this? Because everything starts with education, right? Do you remember this logo, this image? Everything, all the 17 goals start with education. So education is the beginning. We need to change our mindset. We need to change our younger generation through education. And that's why Incheon Declaration was made to transform our lives through education. Okay? So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed um, learning about SDGs. Um, and I hope to see you next time um, that's it from me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.